Let's go through and take a look at the wiring diagrams that JAL test um, uh, has available. And uh, again, in the previous video, as mentioned, very impressive what, what Kajali has done with the, the integration of, of wiring diagrams into the, the software here. Um, they are all available offline. Uh, you will see that the diagrams button here on the left menu um, is, is active. Uh, if I click on any one of these these modules, um, it's going to cater this diagrams button to that individual uh, a module. So if I'm looking for uh, an X15 wiring diagram, I, I simply just highlight that module in the list, um, whichever module it is I'm looking for, click on diagrams, and then this is going to bring up a list of, of diagrams that are available based on the version of the... Um, uh, of that uh, that that engine that you have. So uh, in North America, it's going to be either that efficiency or or performance series, more than likely. Um, and and there's going to be subtle differences between these, um, to to be honest with you. But if we just uh, let's let's go ahead and look at the um, 114B efficiency series. Uh, hit accept, and then this is going to take us into the the wiring diagram uh, function. Now, there's been some big changes since 21.2 came out uh, to the, the wiring diagrams themselves in terms of searchability. Um, and I'm going to show you that, um, that functionality that can save you a whole bunch of time. Uh, you can see that we've got the diagram over here on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, we've got a list of all the components. Now, you can search through this list. So if I'm looking for an oil pressure sensor um, or oil temperature sensor, um, if, if I type in oil, it's going to filter out the ones um, that, that don't have the word oil in them. So uh, you can see I'm left with oil temperature and oil pressure. If I click on either one of these, you'll see it highlights the it uh, in the actual diagram here. So you can see the highlighted um, part. Now, if I hover over that part, great. I got a picture of that sensor. Um, same with uh, all the other um, components as well. Now, if you double click on any one of these components. It's gonna bring up a component overview um, and there's some really useful information uh, such as a component location. So a picture of the component, uh, where it's located on the engine, you can see they got that little, um, uh, that, that little red dot there to indicate um, where it's located on this particular engine. It's got the pinouts, um, the, the specs for um, uh, power supply voltage, so 4.75 to 5.25. <clears throat> is what you should have for, for power supply. Um, it's got torque specs if you're going to replace that sensor. And then it's got component replacement guides. Now these are included in the JAL test info online. Um, so if you are on the internet, uh, you can actually get to the component replacement guide. Um, and then uh, it, it gets even better because we actually have a display measurements option on the bottom here. So if I click on display measurements, that's going to bring up live data um, for what the sensor is actually reading at this at this time, um, and then in addition to that, uh, you know th there may be some information um, that you need to add to this for for your yourself as a reminder or for another tech in the shop. If you click on the plus sign here, you can actually add information in, um, you know, such as you know remember to remove a certain. Um, a, a certain component before you get access to it or, um, you know, exactly where it's located, you know, um, hidden behind the frame or, or whatever. You can put notes in, you can put in, you know, additional procedures, you can even attach additional pictures so that the next time you go in, um, that information is added to the document here. So really cool what they've done there. Um, you can make that uh, larger actually just by um, minimizing the uh the the list here um if you'd like but yeah you can you, you can see the entire um diagram uh you can turn it sideways again if you want to have a, a full screen zoom in zoom out uh really easy to manipulate here now if you double click on uh the the center here this is always the ecm so if i double click on that uh on that ecm you can see uh, the, a picture of the ECM, X1 and X2, um, and then what the pin locations are on each of those. So uh, in addition to that, we've got you know component information for the ECM, what the torque spec is, where it's located, and, and that kind of thing. So uh, very consistent um, and uh, you know easily accessible. So they've done a very good job of, uh, 
uh, of integrating all this stuff into the software. So I, I really like the wiring diagrams. Um, it, it can't be beat. Uh, there, there's no one else that's doing it this well.